Yeah, I hooked this um, other little amplifier I have, which is like a Velman kit or something like that, and that's a lot more audible. So, um, you know, so you can kind of see the envelope there. better I have to drive it at a much lower frequency because there's no volume control that I have hooked up to this right now <clears throat> that's a pretty low difference practically no difference, no difference at all. Here's some, here's some buzzing, this thing's got a lot of noise on it, but uh, it's certainly a more responsive amplifier, you know, to higher frequencies. I'm not sure what chip it, it's in there, I think it's some kind of knockoff of a LM386 or something, but I guess it works okay. Okay, so, <clears throat> but again, yeah, it seems to, you know, have a frequency response range, which includes that. Let's see what happens if I up the thing to, um, you know, a higher frequency, like, let's, uh, shit. Ah, oh, god damn it. Try to up it to 45 kilohertz. Okay, um, up to 45 kilohertz. <coughs> So yeah, it doesn't work as well because, you know, the amplifier doesn't respond still to the base frequencies very well. So, so like that other amplifier, you know, undoubtedly, you know, was filtering it out due to its response, but it still depends on those high frequencies. And again, you know, without some kind of a filter, you know, um, you really can't do much about, about it, even though you can hear it still. You can slightly hear it. It's just not as obvious. But it's, it's not as loud as it was. But, you know, yeah, it's still uh, responding. You know, 45 kilohertz versus 47 kilohertz. So, so and these frequencies are definitely inaudible. And, um, uh, Yeah, you know, like I said, it's certainly a valid technique. So, pretty cool.
pretty killer. I said, you hear all the static on that speaker, you know. It's not the greatest amplifier, maybe, but, you know, it's like a bunch of white noise on there. <clears throat> Anyway, pretty nifty. Cheers.